Hey everybody, it's Jamie, um, aka The Bag Lady. It is Thursday, May 18th, and it's kind of early because um, I got up at the ass crack of dawn. Well, let me back it up for a minute. For those that don't know me, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on um, Poshmark, The Real Real, Thread Up, and sometimes whatnot. Um, so, what I have for you guys today, I went out this morning um, for a quick um, garage sale haul. Um, I was supposed to go out with my son and my brother-in-law, Mike. Everybody was all excited last night to go. And, um, when it came time to actually get in the car and go, Zach wanted to sleep and brother-in-law is like, Oh, my eyes hurt. My throat scratchy. I'm like, stay home then. Cause if you're getting sick, you ain't coming with me. Um, so anyway, I did a quick garage sale haul. Um, there was a, a subdivision, a really nice subdivision that was having a sale. So um, I trotted up there to see what I could find. No purses at all. There was no purses. But I did get some nice clothing items, I think, anyway. So first up, I got this Vineyard Vine size large. It is like a t-shirt style dress. It's like a periwinkle blue stripe. Um, anyway, Vineyard Vine, size large, pull-on dress, you know, it's in great condition. Um, so I picked it up and I'm going to list it today in my Poshmark closet. So maybe by the time you see the video, this stuff will be posted. Um, this next up is also a dress, a t-shirt dress. This is by Bowden. Um, it is a V-neck. It's a size 12. 12, a US 12 regular v-neck just a regular like a t-shirt dress again um striped it's by Bowden I'm gonna try it on but I think it's gonna be too big for me um and I actually have a couple like this anyway so I will um be listing it oh and it's got this cute little um sleeve so yep I'm definitely gonna list this Bowden dress Next up are these Bowden shorts. These are a size 10. They're a pink and green, like floral print um, Bermuda short. They are in excellent condition. Um, another pair that I'm going to try on, but I don't think they're going to fit me. Um, and then these are Gap khakis in a size US 29. These are, these will probably be mine, um, because Gap doesn't really resell for a whole lot, um, and I thought those might fit me, so I grabbed them. This t-shirt, brand new with tags, double XL, it's just a pink I Love New York shirt, um, but like I said, it was brand new with tags. I wasn't leaving it behind, um, they only wanted a dollar for it, and I figure, um, somebody's gonna want this. And I have these Tommy shorts, Tommy pink shorts in a size eight. And I should have looked these over a little better. They do have like, there is a bleach spot right there, but that's okay. I actually, Tommy doesn't resell for a whole lot anyway. I really and truly just bought these, um, hopefully for myself. So if they fit me, great. If they don't, I mean, it is what it is. Win some, lose some. And I picked up these American Eagle jeans. These are a size 29-32. They're the next level flex jeans. They're um, a little higher waisted, black. They're in really good condition or like a black gray. Um. So I picked them up. I figured if they didn't fit me, I can sell them. I can very easily sell American Eagle jeans. And then the last pair, which hopefully are, is going to fit me. <laughs> and I, you know what, you guys, I didn't buy all this shit for myself. But um, these are just some pull-on 9 West jeans in a size 8, like a jegging. Um, but I grabbed these because they're super soft, and I hope they fit. Um, because I did get my drains out. Um, oh, so this is the end of my little garage sale haul, you guys. Um, and I might go back out today. I don't know. Um, cause there is some more sales. Um, 
So I may go back out because I didn't find any purses, not a single purse. Um, I did find a couple pairs of Hunter boots, the rain boots, but they wanted top dollar for them. They wanted 40 bucks. And let me tell you, these bitches were not bargaining. I mean, like the one sale I spent $21 at and like I couldn't even get them to just take a 20, you know? Um, so anyway, it's... Garage sale is a little different these days, man. These bitches, they want their money. They want all of it. Um, so anyway, so that kind of brings me to story time. This is going to be a quick, 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 quick video because um, I'm going to post this today and I'll do a fun box for tomorrow. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so story time, guys. So I got my drains out yesterday um, and all the rest of the bandaging off of my scar. Um, I mean, you know, I was cut hip to hip. They did end up doing a full tummy tuck. I got the full, um, the full tummy tuck, not just the skin removal. Um, and <laughs> so anyway, my surgeon is a trip and so we were talking yesterday and, you know, um, I'm like, okay, so how soon can I resume normal activities? And she's like, well, what are you talking about? I said, well, there's a boxing class I really want to take. She looked at me, the look that she gave me, if looks could kill, I'd have been dead on the spot. She's like, girl, I just rebuilt your stomach. There is no way shape or form at any point in time, you should be taking hits to that stomach that I just built for you. <laughs> She's like, no boxing class for you. Not now, not later, no boxing class. <laughs> so um, that's that. I guess homie's not gonna do boxing class. Um, trying to think, there really hasn't been, I mean, I've been staying in as far as like, I haven't gone out out with my friends. I mean, I've been out and about like shopping here and there and, you know, doing different things, you know, running errands and things. Um, but I haven't been out on the town and it's probably, I was thinking I would maybe go out tonight to Cornhole, but I don't know. I mean, I have jeans on right now, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be wearing these jeans for. Oh, Frankie's back, you guys. Here, I'm not supposed to lift them, but I know you guys have been missing Frankie. So, here he is. Frankie is back home. He's so excited. And my ex-husband is glad that he's not pooping on his floor. And oh my gosh, it was so funny because, well, Frank came home the night before last. Um, he has yet to poop either outside or in. And my ex-husband texted me last night and wanted to know if Frank had shit in our house. <laughs> Because he potty, he went number two in his house every single day that he was there. Um, and no, he hasn't gone in our house, but he hasn't gone outside yet either. So um, he's still getting acclimated. And, you know, it's, it's an adjustment for him because he's home, but he doesn't understand why he can't sleep with mom. And, you know, he still can't sleep with mom until I'm completely healed up because when they pulled the drains out, it left behind a couple holes. So um, those holes have to have to heal before Frank's allowed to sleep with mommy again. Um, so, you know, my doctor was asking me, you know, if I documented my weight loss journey, if I took before and after photos. And I was like, no, I kind of didn't. And she's like, what? And then I happened to think, I said, you know what? I, I documented my weight loss journey on my YouTube channel. So when I started my channel, I was at my heaviest. And now, you know, I am um, not my lightest, of course, but I'm less than 150 pounds. And, you know, um, I wanted to get, my goal was 130. Um... But as I started losing the weight um, and I got down around 145-ish, 150-ish, I, I liked my curves and I really didn't want to lose any more weight. So that's why I decided to go ahead and have um, the tummy tuck and everything done now. Um, so once I completely heal, I am going to meet with the, um, the, the, new, 
the dietitian so that I can figure out how to maintain my weight because I love, 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 love my curves. I don't want to be stick thin. Um, that was never my intention. My intention was quality of life. I've got that. And um, so anyway, now I'm just going to embrace my curves. But with that, I'm going to go, you guys. Frankie's crying. Hopefully he's got a poop. Um, but I will be back tomorrow with a fun box Friday unless the designer box that I ordered arrives. If the designer box comes, I will do that for you guys tomorrow instead of the fun box. Um, but we'll see. I'm out. Peace.